all I hear is how we're going to give more people access to the present system and how we're going to pay for it. But the present system doesn't work and it's going to take us down. We need a whole new kind of medicine. We don't have a healthcare system in this country. We have a disease management system. Many people have a hard time believing that these simple choices that we make in our lives each day can make such a powerful difference. It's the American healthcare system. It's generating rivers of money that are flowing into very few pockets. In the health insurance industry, at the executive level, what's most important is meeting Wall Street's expectations. And they have to. These for-profit companies, by law, have to serve shareholders you almost forget what you're doing is providing health care. The health care system is unsustainable. We're really mortgaging the future. Not just the health of health care, we're talking about the health of the nation. In a community health center like where I work, the administration is telling you, you need to see more patients. We're in the red. So it sounds like you're feeling really overwhelmed right now. Sorry. So, don't be sorry. <laughs> I can't spend the time with the patient and you end up kind of being this revolving door. You just never get to the bottom of things. When you reward physicians for doing procedures instead of talking to patients, that's what they're gonna do, is do procedures. If I spend five minutes with you and put in one of these stents, I'd probably get paid 8,000 on up. For me to spend 45 minutes on an established visit with a patient and to try to figure out what their true problem is, I'd probably get paid $15. It's a completely irrational system. 30,000 Medicare recipients die each year from care they didn't need. That's the equivalent of a jumbo jet crashing every single week. If the aviation industry killed as many people, we'd be up in arms. How do we come to believe that the only way to treat disease is by giving drugs? The military is a microcosm of what the problem society is having. Soldiers' use of prescription drugs has tripled in the past five years. When you're deployed, they feed you, feed you, feed you, feed you. All this stuff just to keep you going. Mission, mission, mission. Good. Medications I was on. Most of the disease that we deal with is lifestyle related and therefore preventable. We've got to move in the direction of disease prevention and health promotion. At Safeway, we provide incentives for people to engage in healthier behavior. We've improved the health of our workforce, the productivity of our workforce, and our own bottom line. So making money and doing good in the world are not mutually exclusive. Here at the Cleveland Clinic, we're all salaried. What we do for a patient is dependent upon what the patient needs, not on our financial incentives. The Army Surgeon General directed that we establish the Pain Management Task Force to take a look at alternatives to narcotics. I'm two and a half months out of combat. I was skeptical. So skeptical. I am a complete new person. By accepting the fact the healthcare system is badly broken, we can seek out the escape fires, the potential solutions, and create a sustainable and patient-centered system for the future. If you don't take care of you, nobody else will. And I can do that. Yeah, you can.